I like y'all to see what this hard work I be putting in be having this looking like. Sometimes I shave my legs and sometimes I don't. Sometimes I comb my hair and sometimes I won't. Depending on how the wind blows, I might even pay my toll. It really just depends on whatever feels good in my soul. You guys, so I'm coming with another sister like update. I'm so excited. I have no idea what month this is. Excuse my light in the back. I'm sorry, it's just gonna be there because I don't know how to set up the lights where y'all don't see it. And it's clearly dark outside. And I'm going to film this video before I went to bed because I finished my hair early this morning. When I say early this morning, it was 1 a.m. It is currently, I don't know, almost 10 p.m. I know that for sure. But I always like to do when it's fresh. I think my last one, I waited a few days. I just don't like that. I like y'all to see what this hard work I be putting in, be having this looking like. And this time, you guys, I'm super, super excited because I filmed portions of the process so I can show you guys how I maintain my grid because <laughs> grid is gritting, okay? It's, it's gritting, okay? I don't even know if that's a thing, but I just made it a thing, so. Hello, parts. Hello, straight lines. Look, anywhere, anywhere. It don't even matter where you go. Look, look, y'all. I be slaying these uh, sister locks with my uh, YouTube University degree. But anyway, I filmed that so you guys can see how I maintain the parts. It, does, it is a little tedious. What I will say, because I think I'm going to put um, a little bit of the snippets of it in here. Yeah, I will, even if I make it a separate video. But I don't go through what you're going to see in this video or the other one is going to be titled something along the lines of how I maintain my sister like grip. It is a tedious process. I every time I reach out my sister locks, I do not be this detailed with my parts. So I will say I'm probably this detailed every, let's say, three to four retries, but mostly they stay good. And honestly, I would say this time, this time around, the one that I filmed that I'm talking about, I was very, very uh, particular with it because my last retie, I was trying to get it done really quick and I was a little sloppy. But anyway, before we jump into all of that, hello to anybody that is new here on my channel. I like to focus on faith, fashion, fitness, and some beauty. I know you haven't seen some of those things, but that is still what my channel is about. I just got to get my life together. But if you're interested in any of those things, and of course, I'm documenting my sister like journey because uh, I mean, majority of y'all was here for the locks and I ain't even mad because, you know, I am too. But anyway, I am. I'm working on a vlog. Y'all, let me just not ramble because I told myself I wasn't going to ramble, but I miss y'all. But anyway, if you're interested in any of those things, if you enjoy yourself, if I make you laugh, if you vibe, and if you love the sister like journey, if you're on a sister like journey, if you think about starting a sister like journey, if you ended the sister like journey, whatever it may be, Raven, do not open that door, mama. And, um, but be sure to like, uh, comment and subscribe. I've been slacking on my comments, but I promise you I will be on top of it. So please, especially if it's serious questions, I really try to get back to y'all. I'm going to be better. I just been like super busy, but I'm, I'm calming down now. Oh, so back to what I was saying about the grid. And I was sharing that with you because y'all like, oh, that's so satisfying. Let's, let's, let's. I know I just showed y'all snippets of this, but let's, let's do like a real time just, ugh. Beautiful. I love it. But anyway, the detail I put into this retie, like I said, I do it probably every three to four reties. And I don't even know if that's a real schedule because I don't know the last time I was this detailed. I'm saying that because the last one, I really retied my hair kind of quickly because it was just time to do it. I wasn't really in the mood, but I know I need to get it done. And so I was kind of sloppy with it and I wanted to just re-get my, you know, like 
what am I trying to say? I just wanted to refresh my parts so they can be detailed. Um, I know from a distance it looks real, real perfect, but you know, it's hair, so it's really not. And what I will say is when I take my time and I'm, I pay attention to my parts and I'm not being lazy with my retie, I do not need to do it. Um, on some of these, you'll see um, where I, um, when I separate it and it's a piece that isn't retied, you can still see that clearly the parts are pretty straight. So once they get established and locked in there, you do not need to do that all the time. But this is just specifically something I do if I feel like they're starting to look a little fu too fuzzy for me. Um, they don't need to be perfect, but sister locks um i love the grid i love how neat it looks so i didn't like when i feel like it was looking too fuzzy um and i've talked about everything i use in my sister lock retires i will also link everything down below um all the oils everything every tool all the combs i'll make sure i link everything down below if you're interested in any of those things so please check the description box your girl is on it i will not upload this video without putting everything in there for you guys and if i happen to forget anything please just comment and i will share it with you if it is in the description and you just didn't see it i'll let you know it's in there so you can go find it but either way just comment if you're looking for it so i am also now on my four point rotation i talked about this last update but this is the first time i filmed footage where you guys can see me doing the four point rotation i was so uh concerned that it would be very complicated and i would say initially when i started doing it i was not trying to do a four point rotation i don't know if i shared this before i was really planning to do a three point rotation because someone shared with me that you know um it helps to have a fuller look and i know for a fact from my consultant who started my sister locks that i was always she started me on a four point rotation and she did a, tell me that changing rotations i went to the two point which i've heard through the grapevine aka the comments that that could be not the best it's not really good um and it can make them a little thinner and weaker and she, my consultant did verify that she told me that my locks would get weaker if i stay on a two point rotation so I went up to a three-point rotation. Well, that was what the plan was. But when I was doing it, I realized, like, girl, you can just do it. Like, I am, I don't know. The way the system works is um, I go over, up, over, down. So for me, when I'm doing my hair, I go left, up, right, down. And that was, I don't know, when I started doing it, it just made so much sense. So you really kind of doing this. And that's how I think of it. It's like a point that way. Like, that's how I do it. And I can keep up with it really easily. Um, um, when I'm doing the top, I did film how I did this part. Because I want to show you guys what it's like when I end it. And at the top, I'm at weird angles, you guys. I'm not going to even try to explain to y'all what I'm really doing. I'm doing the rotation in my mind. But I only can... When I'm retying my hair, and excuse me, y'all know how to bust the buzz or something. I didn't see that until till this morning, so I don't know what happened last night. I must have been fighting myself. But anyway, okay, so when I'm doing my retie, oh, y'all look. Y'all gonna like this video right now if you can see my edges from here. I don't care if they thin, just like the video. Anyway, but so when I get to about, oh, uh, because you see I did it in a deep part, and I wanted to show how I did that. So when I get to about this, honestly, not even that, but yeah, definitely about this part. It's like right off center of my head. I, and I'm on this way. I cannot see the top of my head anymore. So when I'm retying and I try to catch this in angles for you guys, if it's not on this video, it's definitely going to be on the maintaining, you know, how I do my retie for point rotation. And it's going to be, um, um, how I maintain my grit, all of that. It's going to be on that video if you don't see it in this one. But once I go this far, because I'm working this way and I'm using my mirrors, once I get to this part of my head, I can't see. Like, you know what I mean? Like, in the mirrors, I just can't see. So I have to switch sides starting here, and I have to work from this side and do that. It, it sounds way more complicated, and even though I do it, I don't know how to explain it to y'all. All I know is it's, I try to film it so you guys can see it. So at some point I'm doing my retie and it's like I'm on the top of my locks versus like how when I'm doing the back, again, you know how I do this. This is my rotation, right? So I can go, you know, I go in, go like this and go up then go over then go down. And at some point I have to do this, but make my lock go this way. So I have to go like over and then down. 
then over and then up you know what i mean so it's kind of reverse and it's like a play on your mind it's kind of like if you work out and they talk to you about muscle mind body connection like you know some things if you're lifting they want you to alternate like you just have to really think about what you're doing and that's what i'll say is probably the trickiest part of um retos is because um you have in your mind you have to visualize what you're doing even when you're it's not um I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say, even when it's not like how you typically do it. So I will say that that's complicated for me when I do, when I do my hair and that's only when I do a middle part though. I mean, deep side part. So when I'm bringing these this far over, because I don't know if you can see it, but you can, you can see how the way this is, you can tell that the rotation stops going down. And then if you see how these are, you can tell the rotation stops going up. So it's only complicated when I'm trying to do the deep part on either side, because I've done one on both sides. I was feeling a deep part this time, so I did it. It can be a little complicated is all I'm saying, but complicated doesn't mean impossible. And if I can do it, you can do it, truly. So I hope the video helps out with that. So check that video out. This one's definitely gonna go before that one, but I'm gonna start editing all the footage excuse me this week and anyway um maybe tonight but whatever so be looking out for that video this is gonna be my update and that was gonna be uh you know the maintaining one so i can slow down parts and y'all can really see it but i will share snippets of it in this video so you guys can see a little bit of what i'm talking about give you a little sneak peek of what i got going on over there on that video because y'all need to check it out because your girl was working very very hard i was trying to get my lighting and my angles right and i was really really proud of myself because when i look back at my footage and yes we do look back i was like okay girl because you all they all up in your head and i was like perfect and it's really clear so i hope it's helpful for for anybody um that wants to know so i didn't film the whole process but how I, I filmed in different sections i definitely filmed in the back of my head to show how i clean up my parts if i need to and at the top i don't really remember but I, it was in areas and then i always i showed how i finished and girl i was tired but it was worth it um i love the way they are looking they are growing can somebody please comment length down in the comment section because Man, I feel like I'm almost, I'm almost to long locks. I'm gonna give it to a bra strap length, but y'all, y'all see, I'm keeping my head straight. I ain't, I ain't looking back. Cause when I look back, <laughs> okay, not nah, anyway. But it's like if I keep it, you know, level. Y'all can see what we working with. My shirt is perfect for this, cause it can't hide my length or nothing. I love it. Like, we are coming on down. And if you are curious about my beads, I got the paper. I uh, ran into a lady here locally in Kansas City. We was at brunch. And she has sister locks. And she had these little beads in her hair. And I did walk her up to ma'am and compliment her beautiful locks. So that was beautiful. I did not get her name. I wish I had in case she ever seen my video. But if you ever watch it, you'll know it's you. But um, she... Sit, get, like literally I took a picture of her phone. This is where my beads are from you guys. Bead it, wear it, love it. And um, I hope y'all can scan that or whatever. But it's a uh, shop off Etsy if you haven't already heard of it. But I did, I just walked up to her and I saw these little this in her hair like this and y'all got a ton left. I done had two orders from her and I'm learning sizes. The first time I ordered them, I ordered four millimeters. It was just too big. But I was looking at hers and I always swear my locks is so much bigger than other people's. I just dropped them on the floor. Hold on now, let me get them. I wanna just show you how the different sizes all at one time. So I got four millimeters the first time and it was just too big. Like they all just fell off. Like so loose that if I did this, that mug be like, shh. Like, I don't know what I thought. Clearly, I thought my locks were thicker than they were. So I ordered three millimeters and two. So I'm going to, I just want one so I can show you all the three different sizes. Cause it's it's amazing to me. And um, looking at my locks, I hope you got, if you, cause it, it'll say different millimeters. And I can't tell y'all what y'all's is cause everybody's a little different as y'all know. So these are the sizes. This is four millimeter, that's three this is two okay let me put these down so i don't drop them i ordered the four millimeters first because i just really was guessing on the size and what i will tell y'all 
the four, like I said, they're just too big, all of them. Like, I probably could put them on some of my ends that have swollen, you know, like where they get a little fatter like this, but it's still technically too big, all right? So, like, and I can fit the three and the twos. They're perfect for me. These, these on here are the two millimeter ones. And then, I know I got one up in here because I, I felt it. All right, and this, these are three millimeters. So, you can see... Hopefully, I'm trying, let me try to get, you see the difference there? Oh my, it look better with my dark skin because they stand out. So yeah, so I got locks that are different sizes, mainly in between two th millimeters and three, which is actually pretty expected given that there is 300 locks in my head. So uh, if you got sister locks, I will tell you this, nine times out of 10, Probably, honestly, 10 out of 10 if you order them. You do not need fours, so do not order those. They're going to be too big. But threes and twos, I would say order one of each to start. I think it's about $10 per pack of these. Yeah, they're like $10 per pack, and it comes with 10 in each. I also have a video coming where I make some jewelry. Um, I'm still perfecting everything, but I want to get it together so I can really give y'all step-by-step on how I'm doing it, because sometimes I'll be playing. Then a part of me says I might do a video where I'm just playing, and y'all can just see me making the jewelry. But I have made some pieces, like like this is one of them. I'll, sh I'll share this with you guys. Like, this is one of the jewelry pieces I made. Everything I got, I bought at Michael's. And, you know, for sister locks, since we interlock, unlike traditional locks, you can put stuff on here. The good thing about these is they slide right off. Like, it's very simple. But we can't have anything stay permanently because we have to interlock at our scalp. So, that would be painful. So, I uh, made this fastener, right, like this. And I'll, like, hook it. I'll just go over here for... So how I wear this is like, let's say I want to wear it. I will hook it at the base and close it. And then, you know, then it looks like I have, you know, something hanging in my locks like that. So, yeah, we I have that coming. I'm just trying to perfect it because I've just been doing different things and, you know, seeing what I what I'm going to make. I'm not going to show y'all anything else in here because I want to do the video and I want to be really specific. So if anybody's interested in making their own jewelry, you know, because, like, you know, this this is cute. And, you know, you, you know, it's stuff like that. And usually this one, I clip it more in the back. I'll show you. I want y'all to see it up front, of course. Um, and then it, I just open the clasp because it's, it's, it's really the jewelry stuff, and it comes right off. But typically with this one, my idea when I made it was that it would hang, like, let me fasten it here. It would hang, like, back here. And you know, when I wear my locks, you kind of see this little chain hanging and that's how I typically wear it. So be excited about that. I'm trying to get that together so the video can make sense and be helpful. I love the four point rotation. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but since I retie my hair, I have really been learning a lot more about how to do it. This to me is by far one of my best retiles I've ever done. And it's also one of the ones I've done, you guys, where I feel like I truly understand and get what I'm doing now. But this time, it was like, I don't know, something click, and I know how many rotations to do. I know how to check, because I also think my last retie, I didn't get it tight enough. Now, I can admit that sometimes I retie it too tight, because I'm trying to end the rotation a certain way, so if I want everything... Like on this section, I'll explain that. I want everything to end going down. And the reason that's so important to me because I know that they, uh, my consultant talked to me about um, getting holes in your locks. And I'll be looking at my locks and they're, they're so tight. Now, mind you, I didn't do all this. I mean, my work is only going to be way up here somewhere because it's been, um, of course she did it, but they look really, really tight. And I know it's something about, you know, not wanting to do the same rotation over and over again. So if I know which way they stop, I always know which way to start, if that makes sense. So sometimes you, some of you guys may look at the video, especially the one that I'm maintaining. And I'll talk about it in that video too. When I, that is like, some people may say, oh, it looks really tight. In some, I do do it too tight and it's not on purpose. And I force it a little bit because I don't want to be lost when it's time to retie my hair again. Um, if that makes 
sense. If you have done your hair, you probably know what I'm talking about. Because if it ends in all kind of crazy ways, I don't have a guideline, so I don't have a starting point to make sure I'm continuing the same rotation. Another thing I've learned in my locks since I'm on a four-point rotation is sometimes your hair needs more than four rotations. So once I go, you know, I do my left up, right down, I still got a little give but it's not enough to do four more rotations i used to try to do that and i accidentally got my hair too oh excuse me sorry guys too tight then because my i ran out of new growth basically so it's really really tight and it's and it's tugging at the scalp so um on some of these like i'm able to gauge a bit better the more i do it like okay i need about two more rotations than that or three more but I know how to end it like I know when I'm like okay do a two-point rotation you know you are do a three-point you know so if you see on some of it you'll see me go maybe six times through one and I probably um somebody might ask this and you may have asked before I don't know if I answered it and I probably go about eight weeks eight or more weeks um I don't go into like three months or nothing but I know I definitely don't retire my hair once a month like I'm not going to touch this again. It's, I just did it yesterday. This is July. I, I may retire my hair at the very end of August. You know what I mean? Like I, when I was going to my consultant, I was going every five weeks. Um, that was the schedule I was on, but now that I do it myself, I just kind of gauge it. And, um, um, as, I think as your hair gets more and more locked, I see it with my traditional lock clients, you just don't feel like you need it. Like they're so snug together. You don't really have frizz i would say this was the first time i did have some where they kind of stick together and i had to kind of like separate it at the new growth part only not where the lock is but where the new growth was and some of the footage and if i have a clip i'll put that in here too so you guys can see how much new growth i had because it was in some areas it was giving maybe almost an inch i would say i'm not gonna say it was a whole inch but it was it was getting pretty close and you know with all of that hair frizzing i've washed it i've been pulling it up i've been wearing it mostly like this um my hair typically nine times out of ten is pulled up like this i really want to pull it up right now because it just feels good to not be touching me but um so when it's all when you wash it and it's all like stuck together i started i got some few locks that i had to pop Ooh, i do have bad news for you for myself, I guess it ain't for you guys. I got, I've given myself my first two knots and I think it is because I've gone too long. So over here, let me see if I can get close. Oh, you can't even see it. You can't, it's, I don't know. But if you look, y'all can see it. Okay, let me get in here. You can see it, yeah, right there. Do y'all see? I'll try to get a little arrow thing. Let me pause. Mm, my contacts are dry now. Yeah, so your ma'am gave herself a knot. And what's crazy, and I think it's from going too long, number one. And two, I was tired. And I was, and I've been trying, if y'all know, like in my hair, like I wanted to start a small lock here. And I've done that before my attempt to start a start sister knot because it wasn't a sister lock. But it doesn't stay, and I don't think it will because this hair is just too fine. So I'm trying to, if you could see, basically pull that hair in there. I was concerned it would get too big, like it'll make my lot fatter, and I, I was concerned about that. But then I realized it's so thin and fine right there. The chances of you growing so much hair that it'll make the lot actually fatter, fatter or slim. So I didn't worry about it. But I did the same thing over here. Look at this. So we're going to figure that out. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. But my thing is <laughs> horrible. And I was kind of sad and I almost cut it. And I was like, nope, don't do it. I've always learned that if you don't know what to do, you guys, if you retie your hair yourself because you just want to, I tell you, if you intertwine one with another, just let it grow out. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just let the knots grow out and I'm going to see what we're working with in a month or so. But yes, that is everything. I have babbled on quite some time, but I wanted to share that with you guys. I felt like it's a really good update. That is everything, you guys. The journey has been wonderful. If you're thinking about sister locks, I'm just telling you, ma'am, sir, even. I did come across my first male that I've seen in the city who has sister locks or brother locks as on the video they called them and they look amazing that was the first male i ever seen with them and his hair was absolutely beautiful and it was extremely full and he's had a ponytail and i had to say something like 
her like excuse me are you going and i was like no sister lock i was like oh i mean our brother locks and he was like yeah they're sister i'm like they look good so y'all have to comment down below if you ever seen a man in person with them i should have took a picture with him now my hairstylist and he said he wants me to style his locks for him because like my lady i style some of her sister lock clients the one who started mine because she doesn't style locks but i feel comfortable doing that so, um, he's supposed to come. So, if he actually makes an appointment, guys, and come, I will promise you to remember take a picture or get a little footage of him with locks. If you've never seen a man with them, but they look absolutely amazing on him. They were beautiful. So, um, that's it for this update, you guys. I love you guys so much. Um, thank you guys for joining me. Please subscribe. We are on our way to 5,000, and I can't believe it. I thank you guys for sticking with me because I haven't been as consistent. But I, And I promise you, it's still going to be Thursday and Sunday. I know I ain't putting nothing out on Thursday in a minute, but it's truly coming. Don't worry. I already got content I'm editing. It's just taking me a little bit longer. I'm being very picky, so y'all pray for me to just put the content out there. If you want to just put it out there because it's a vlog, and I'm keep going back and forth like, do they care? Do they want to see it? But it's some of y'all who said y'all want to come into my life. So I'm going to put it out there. I'm getting music. I'm trying to do transit. I'm I'm trying. So, but it's coming every Thursday and Sunday. Sunday is Sister Locks. Thursday is going to be everything else. Um, but I thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys. And as always, stay blessed, you guys. Stay motivated and stay close to God. Remember that God doesn't want to trick you. He never wants to hurt you. He loves you and he cares for you. And y'all, I will talk to y'all later. Bye. Don't be offended, this is all my opinion Ain't nothing that I'm saying, law. This is a true confession of a life learned lesson I was sent here to share with y'all